Good day everyone, Sijinoop here. Today's tutorial about how to bake Color ID map in the Blender 2.8 with the Cycles render engine. For example, we have this medieval mug and we want to create Color ID map for this object. I just want to mention that you wouldn't have any issues if you try to create Color ID map only for one mesh, but you could face it with the problems when you will try to bake colors for separated objects which UV islands is located at the same UV map, like in our case. So let's move on and I will show you what I'm talking about. Let's go to the UV editing tab, let's select all object, go to edit mode, select all mesh. And as we could see UVs of all objects is located at the same UV map. So let's uh, choose approach with separated objects because at the end of the video I will show you how to deal with possible overlapping uh, of colors and quickly fix them all. Uh, so as you understood object or objects for which you want to create color ID map should be unwrapped. The next step is to create a blank map on which we will bake our color information. So let's do it. Let's create a new map. Let's give a name properly. Color ID map. You could play with widths and height. Depends on what level of de details you want to have. I just put here 248 power of 2 and 248 2k resolution. I recommend to leave these properties by default as they are. Click OK. And here we go. Uh, we have a blank map on which Cycles Render Engine will project our color data. So the next step is to add materials with different colors to our objects. And let's select our uh, wooden part. Go to the material tab, create a new material, let's name it wood and default shader for every object in Blender 2.8 is a new principal BSDF. In my opinion, this one is uh, really redundant and heavyweight for our task. So I recommend to switch to diffuse BSDF because we just want only color information from our material and nothing more. Okay, let's pick a red material for wooden part. You could pick any material you want. And for better visibility in viewport, let's add the same color for the 3D view. And let's repeat all these steps for other objects. Create a new material. What is that? It's a rings. Rings. And principal BSDF switch to diffuse. Rings will be a green and the uh, 3D viewport will be the same color. And let's choose a handle, create a handle, handle. Let's pick a diffuse BSDF handle, we'll set a blue color and pick the blue color for 3D view as well. Uh, the next, let's go to shader editor and let's add a uh, image texture node for every material. Uh, let's find our color ID map that we uh, created before. And uh, you don't need to connect image texture with diffuse BSDF node because you don't want to project ID map to material. It's neat only for informing shader about where to bake color information if example will be super dumb and super simple. Uh, and we need to copy this node to other materials as well. So control C, control V, control V. And uh, the last step, we need to project color information from our materials to blank ID map. Uh, let's go to the 3D viewport and uh, render properties. As we can see, there is a baking tab in the EV engine. So let's pick uh, cycles, go to the bake tab, a uh, baking type we will choose diffuse and deselect everything except color influence. Then the last one we should select all objects from which we want to get color information and click bake button. Uh, for real-time monitoring for baking process we could switch for example for UV editing tab 
and uh, in a moment we will see the result of projecting colors to our map. Cycles baking color information from every object uh, one by one and we will see the result in a few seconds. So let's wait. Uh, as we could see, wooden part is complete, and the next one, I guess, will be handle, and the last one is rings. Uh, I guess. We will see. Uh, handle projection is done. Let's wait for the last player. So let's extend our window. And as we can see, the baking process is complete and everything is fine in our case, even if we have UV islands of different objects in one UV map. But you could have some colors overlapping issues when UV islands is located too close between each other. For example, like in this area, or this one, or that one. And there is a couple of ways how to fix it. The first one is to decrease margin in the baking tab. Let me show you where this option is. It's in a bake tab and it's over here, margin. And uh, as we could see, the cycles at these outline borders with width that is set it in uh, this property. So this is the first solution. And the second one, is to just uh, join all these objects to a single mesh and rebake them again. In that case, cycles didn't not allow these overlapping issues. And of course, you could save this image, pick save as, and pick any directory you want. So, so yeah, that's all. Uh, just simple as that. I hope you like my tutorial and see you later. Bye.